like to introduce this evening's Master of Ceremonies, former Oneida Fire Chief, Erwin Smith. Thank you, Sandy. I'd like to welcome you to the Oneida Memorial 35th year with the parade services. I'd like to introduce the Reverend Richard Kappel, pastor of St. Joseph's Church and St. Patrick's Church here tonight to give the invocation. Almighty and ever-living God, you have told us that one can have no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Tonight we gather in your presence to remember those men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice of love in order to preserve, protect, and defend our freedoms. With respect and gratitude, may we honor their, sacri their sacred gift by responsibly living the ideals which they held by the shedding of their blood. God, our shelter and strength, listen and love to the cry of a grateful nation. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. And grant them a place of light, happiness, and peace where you live and reign forever and ever. Thank you, Father. We will now have the raising of coloring colors by Maureen Cox Barbano and Roselle Lynch and Senator Dave Valeski will sing the national anthem. The Pledge of Allegiance will follow, led by Kyle and Andrew Albert for the Boy Scout Troop 23. Peter Hezlon, Mayor of the City of Oneida, will present the welcoming address. Thank you, Chief Smith. Good afternoon or good evening. On behalf of the City of Oneida, I would like to thank all of you for coming to Oneida this evening while we commemorate the men and women who died in service of our country while in the military. This, is, this begins our Memorial Day weekend. I hope that we will all remember why we're here tonight and why we are we enjoy the freedoms that we do to have a, a wonderful holiday. Uh, 
I was asked to add a, an acknowledgement to the program by Mrs. Seminarodi. And because Mrs. Seminarodi was my seventh grade English teacher, whatever she says, I do. The Oneida Rotary Club uh, did the planting around the park that we were here about two Saturdays ago, and they were inadvertently left out of the, of the program. So on behalf of the city, I'd like to thank the Rotary Club of Oneida for the work that they did here. Thank you, Mary. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our guest speaker, Don Logan. Don served in the Marines and in the Army National Guard, the 174th Fighter Wing. He's a member of the Munsville American Legion Post 54 and is Honor Guard Sergeants of Arms. He's a member of the Durnville Vets Club, Legion Riders, the DAV, the 40 and 8, and the Marine Corps League. Ladies and gentlemen, Don Logan. I need these at my age. Good evening. And I want to thank the Memorial Association and everyone here for inviting me to this, this uh, ceremony. Um, as you see, I'm already nervous. So, I will start. We are here to honor those that have served to protect and preserve the freedom that we cherish and sometimes take so lightly. The sacrifice was the cost of many men and women, and the list goes on as we stand here today. Stop and take a deep breath, and take a look into the evening sky. Look around you and listen. This is freedom. From the wars of past to the trenches of World War I, to the harsh attack on Pearl Harbor, to Iwo Jima, to the blood left on Omaha Beach, to the death march of Bataan, where we were there, the freezing cold of Korea that seemed no end. Then the call came again to Vietnam, the forgotten not only the war but our men and women that gave their all even when they knew their lives would be changed forever. Our call to Granada, Lebanon, then into Panama, to the Gulf War that we took with great force. Again, the attack on New York, D.C., and the heroes on the plane that crashed into PA. The young and the old were once again, and still at this moment, putting, being put to the test for our freedom. To remember, for most veterans, try to forget. They walked through life trying to hold the faith within that they did the right thing and carry a sense of guilt and have a hole in their souls forever. For most will never understand, and some don't really care. You are patted on the back when you leave and looked down on when you return. We are not bad people. We are those that gave all to keep the freedom that you know today. Let, not, let us not turn our heads away, but look them in the eyes and say thank you. May we ask, what can I do for you? your picnics, parades, going to a ball game, other things that we all enjoy. There was much blood lost to make it so. We as veterans trust in this country and those within to keep us in your arms, minds, hearts, and to never forget. To remember those who are alone in our veterans' homes, extended care, VA hospitals. We hold into your faith when we go into battle that you believe in us and trust us and forever the faith. Let us not forget our POWs and MIAs. Let us remember. Thank you. God bless all of you. And I'm short, but I think I've got to point out and enjoy the weekend. Be safe. And like I said, God bless all of you. All of us here, the military, the ex-military, and whatever, thank each and every one of you for all your support. 